1400 meters in the opener the game is on deltron energy jumped very awkwardly jumped outwards intimidating act of mercy and i think devils and dust probably got the worst of it and devils and dust has dropped to be about six or seven lengths off the leaders had to be taken up on settling down, Royal Venus dominates the pace by a length and a quarter. Uh, Spustaki is racing in second. Bay of Dreams is around them. Act of Mercy. Yellow and Pink Silks. Deltron Energy merges with the rail on the inside. Then we have Devils and Dust. Yellow and Green Silks in sixth position. Five lengths off the leaders past the 800. Can't fool me in the blues. Around them goes Alto Alex. That's the grey. Minstrel Gallery has dropped anchor, red sleeves and cap, six lengths top to tail. 600 ago, Royal Venus by a neck. Aspustaki towards the outside and Roy's Wolf has tailed off. Homeward bound, Royal Venus dominated the pace as the leader length and a half. Aspustaki towards the outside, Bay of Dreams. Alto Alex the Grey on the outside and Act of Mercy is coming forward. On the inside, Act of Mercy but the Grey Alto Alex exploding into to action the gray alto alex and kelvin a bit now come roaring into the lead game set and match that's it as pustaki second thirds tight can't fool me or act of mercy in photos but the early money was for alto alex in the anti-boats Number 10, Alto Alex from the Tinny Prince Louis stable gets the seal of approval from Kelvin Abib. Came sweeping through on the outside and still paid up at 8 Rand 80. Wins by 2. A Spusterki second. Can't fool me. Act of Mercy. Act of Mercy. Oh, it's close. Now on the inside, maybe can't fool me. Then Act of Mercy. Devils and dust. Things didn't quite map out out the gates. So we'll go Can't Fool Me for the third spot ahead of Act of Mercy. And Devils and Dust will give that another chance. But looming right, Alto Alex with a Teddy Brinsloo sta stable. Rio Stud, the Bullions, Kelvin Abib, Confident Ride, galvanized this one into action. And the Striking Grey proceeds to win going away. That's it. Back to the studio. Well, I know that Elsa Prince Lou will be watching all the way from Kimberley and she'll be thrilled with this victory. She's not here with her husband today, but Tini's only had the one runner and it's a winner. That's the global view filly called Elsa Alex. But uh, it is uh, the New Turf Carriers' race day, and David Kamalo is here with me, and he's going to join me in the presentation of uh, Champagne to the Winning Connections. David, lovely to have you here, and lovely to have you part of New Turf. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Lovely. You stay with me, and we'll uh, do the interviews and the presentations. Lungani Vumba is the groom of Alta Alex, and he's gone to attend to his striking grey filly. So well done to him. He gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Kelvin Habib. Come and step into the winner's area with uh, Lungani and myself. And uh, congratulations. Uh, she's a filly that I know that Tiddy's uh, been pulling his hair out a bit with her because she's, she's clearly a poly horse, and we mentioned that to the viewers. Yes, I mean, her, her only run on the poly was promising. It was only her second start, so, you know, she moved up and looked like she was going to do something. Maybe just a little bit weak at the time, but, uh, look, I needed need to say well done to Mr. Princely, who was uh, very confident in the parade ring. He said to me, just get, find a nice position, track them, and when you pull it out, she'll quicken for you. So I just had to listen to instructions. Uh, you know, I got really good instructions, and, uh, yeah, he, he obviously trained this filly really well. And um, to Suzette and Barsi, they're dear friends of mine, and uh, I'm just so happy I could ride them another one in their colours. Kelvin? The pedigree suggests that she's, you know, the whole family sprint, the whole family sprint, but does she give you the feel that she could come back in distance or could she go even further? Look, I think 1,400 uh, at, at this stage might be might be her best, but she actually gave me the impression that she might go a little bit further because she was nice and relaxed behind them. And, uh, yeah, when I, as I said, when I asked her to pick it up, she quickened up really well. So, you know, I'll leave the, the training to, to Mr. Prince Lee. He's doing an uh, amazing job. And, uh, yeah, once again, just really grateful for the opportunity. And once again, to see it in Barsi, um, yeah. It's uh, really heartwarming to ride them another winner. Before you run away and enjoy your champagne later on, your next best or one or two that we could uh, keep an eye on? Yeah, so I only have one more left uh, in, the, in the seventh race uh, for Mr. Matchett. 
uh, you know, he's a competitive horse and uh, hoping to, to bring it home for the, the connections. Uh, just last but not least, I just want to dedicate this winner to my beautiful wife back at home. You know, she's always there to support me and uh, yeah, this one's for her. Well done, Kelvin. There's your Pongrats. There is uh, Lungani Vumba. Uh, please pose for the photographs. And we thank you, Turf Carriers, for all their support and uh, all their good work that they do for horse racing. Come on, Tinny. It's your turn. And it's your only runner on the day. Uh, Iron Chef the other day and uh, today, uh, Alto Alex. Well done. You, uh, you've got to be pleased with the way she's finished her race because you've, you've, you've liked her in the past. Yeah, why don't you know what, uh, since day one when she ran on the grass first time out, it wasn't the best uh, of a run, but uh, I said to the owners who said them by, so I said, listen, yeah, I think after the, the, the run on the sand, I said, I think she's a much better sand horse than a, a grass horse, and it proved it today, yeah. But yeah, I just want to thank Suzette and Bossy. Yeah, thanks a million for the support. I really appreciate it. And uh, to the people who, who organized the horse for me, thanks a million. Um, yeah, then, then just one thing uh, I just want to say to Rocky, you know, Rocky, uh, uh, thanks a million for helping me a bit there at the stables. I really appreciate it. And Mr. G, thank you so much uh, for supporting me as well. Um, yeah, why don't you get back to this filly, lovely filly, and I think she will go on here. You've got to be pleased with the way that she finished her race because she really unwound beautifully. Yeah, no, why don't you know what? Uh, I saw her at the back. Okay, we, had, we haven't had the best of draws. And uh, when she moved up through the, I think it was between the 800 and the 1,000, when she moved up, I said, okay, that, that's it. Yeah, the, um, she, she's going to run on. And she did, yeah. And she, she actually, I'm very pleased, yeah. She, she won a nice race, yeah. Well done with your continued faith in her. Here is a bottle of Pongrats. Lunga is here. Lungani is here. And uh, a, a good day for you and a quick day for you. Well done, Tinny. No, thank you so much. And uh, I just want to say to my love of my life, yeah, drive safely when you go back. And uh, I'll see you one of these days, yeah. Lovely. There's Tinny Prince to you. The Pongrats bottle. He's going to enjoy that. Wait for your wife to get back, Tinny, before you. She'll be very upset if you drink that. <laughs> if you drink that without her. Well done to uh, the Prince Lou family and to Lungani Vumba, who is the groom of the sauce. And of course, New Turf Carriers, it's their day. Thank you to them for their support. Alta Alex, to the Falyun family, wherever you may be watching, enjoy.